Right. For this exercise, we're going to look at how the tent goes up um, fly sheet first. So you don't always have to do inner pitch first. A lot of people don't like that inner pitch first. I'm one of those people, to be fair. But yeah, the fly sheet can go on. Right, so for speed, I've set up the footprint and you put the poles in to the corners as you would normally, right? Now the difference is, get the fly sheet next. That's it. Go. Let's put it in. So, if we get in, <laughs> see, slugs already. This is it inside. It's massive without the inner. So then what you do is, you just put the inner in, attach it to the to the end of the poles as you would normally, and then you just hang it from the hang it from the bars or the poles. So that's it. Fly sheet pitch first. Once you get the once you get the hang of it, you can get it up pretty quick. But you only thing that's gonna get wet is your footprint or at least your inside your bathtub and that'll be dry so what I'm gonna do next is we're gonna seam seal these zips yeah we've got some seam sealer on there because if you look at that last video when I was in the lake this is where the rain came in Due to the storm flap, it was actually coming in that side because this this flap here was lifting in the wind. And to be fair to the tent, right, that wind was absolutely hammering it. It was getting battered. So if we put some seam sealer down this side and this side. Right, obviously not over the zip because I'm, well, just paint that whole thing, can't you? Because it will just break the seal when you open it. But still have protection, so I'm going to do both sides. That's the other side, I'm going to do both sides. So we'll come back and we'll show you how to do that. So for the uh, seam sealing, I bought this. Alright, so what this is like, it gets good reviews. It gets good reviews and it's apparently easy to put on you get the box obviously there's the sealer it says you get a little tray where's the little tray that can't be the tray surely it can be paper and anyway so you pour the seam sealer in and you paint it on so we'll do that Tricky trying to do this. Right, so let's open it up. Oh, it's got one of them bloody 
caps on, you know, the ones you've got to pull off. Right, don't think you need a lot. Oh, it's quite wet liquid. Also, I've got a handy kitchen roll. So, I'll be back in one second. Here we go then. So it looks blue when you put it on. Right. Apparently it dries clear. So I'm not gonna bore you by showing you the whole process. Do this and I'll come back when I've covered it all. So I've done the, the full length of it, opened the zip. I'm just waiting for it to dry now. Apparently it dries clear. So we'll find out. We'll not find out until it rains again whether it leaks or not. But you know, that's alright. It didn't leak that much, put it that way. So we'll come back when that's dry. And do the other side as well. Do this side. Here's the, this is the other side done. So one thing I will say is between coats, give you a brush, a wash. It's water based, so it just washes out with water. Otherwise it goes stiff. I've, uh, Sort of, I've given the tray a coat as well, so that should have some sort of plastic base for the next time. So I've done two zips there. I've got that much left up to there, up to the line. It's not bad, like. Not promoting that, it's just on Amazon, about eight quid. So we'll come back when these are both dry and we'll see if there's any residue should be a little bit, I think if you open the zip it'll take that off, it'll just knock the residue off. Just open the zip a few times. Right, I'll paint myself into a corner here, I can't get out. <laughs> so here we are in the tent and it's dry. Oh, takes about half an hour. Half an hour to dry. Open the zip, no problem. That's just catching on the velcro. off. Yeah, zip shuts, opens and closes, no bother. So, that's pretty much it. Ugh. As you can see, also, it's clear. There's no, like, blue or... There's no residue, really. It's quite good. So that seam seal is available on Amazon. That's as far as I can go with that now. The only next bit is the rain test again. Oh. That could be any time. Probably never rain again now when I go to camp. Anyway, that's how that's how seam seal your tent. It applies to all the seams. But these are all sealed anyway. They're all sealed, the seam the seams on this. This is the only place that'll let it rain in. So that's it. Any questions, just ask, and I will totally ignore them. <laughs>